Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On day 24 of Russia-Ukraine conflict, the world witnessed the first ever use of hypersonic missile in combat. The Russian Defense Minister spokesperson has given information about the missile launch. Russia has used hypersonic missiles to destroy Ukraine's weapon stockpile. It was an underground depot located in western Ukraine and was destroyed by using hypersonic missile KH-47M2. Russia also claimed that warehouse contained missiles and ammunition from Ukrainian soldiers. While Ukrainian president has called for urgent talks with Moscow, Russia seems to further intensify the lethality of attack. Moscow is not willing to come to talking tables unless Ukraine agrees to maintain demand that it becomes a neutral state. Russian military has also used Bastion coastal missile system to destroy the electronic intelligence centers of Ukrainian troops in Odessa region. In total, 69 targets were hit by Russian Air Force during the night, 4 command posts, 4 anti-aircraft missile systems of which 3 S-300 and 1 Buke M1, 1 radar station for guidance and target designation, 3 installations of multiple rocket launchers, 12 warehouses of rocket and artillery weapons, as well as 43 places of accumulations of military equipment. In addition, Russian Air Force shot down 12 Ukrainian drones. Talking about the KH-47M2 missile, it is also known as Dagger, is a hypersonic ballistic missile that can be launched from air. It entered service in early 2018 and is currently deployed by Russia's MiG-31 Foxhound interceptors and Tu-22M bombers. Its high precision and maneuverability, extreme range and formidable speed allow it to penetrate all existing air defense systems and makes it an ideal carrier killer or anti-ship platform. The missile is capable of impacting targets at a speed between Mach 10 to Mach 12 and range estimates from 2000 km to 3000 km. Russian media claims the missile range is 2000 km when carried by MiG-31K and 3000 km when carried by Tu-22M3. No existing missile defense system is capable of reliably intercepting the Kinzhal which is highly maneuverable. The KH-47M2 will also be integrated into the internal weapons bay of Su-57 which makes Su-57 the only one in the world capable of delivering hypersonic ballistic missile attacks which could not only make it an excellent ship hunter but also allow it to deliver strike enemies against targets such as command centers, logistic hubs, airfields and other critical targets deep inside the enemy lines. The Su-57's radar evading stealth profile makes it a potentially ideal platform to deliver the long-range hypersonic missiles as it makes the aircraft extremely difficult to detect at long ranges and significantly reducing both the warning of potential strikes and chances of successful interception by the enemy's fighter jet. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.